Hi everybody, welcome here. My name is Jamie Patel and this is an altar dedicated to St. Anthony. Uh, I'm speaking to you all from Bombay and St. Anthony inspired me to make this video about him so you can set up his altar in your house and pray to him. Of course, it is not important or necessary to set the altar but sometimes we need altars to kind of clear the space and energy and you know to tell ourselves that we're doing something special for our requests now saint anthony is a miracle worker he is invoked to find things and it's not only things that are lost it's also to find uh, to find a job the right job for you to find the right house to find the right um trip to find uh, to find the, your uh, the ideal partner for marriage okay whether it's your twin flame soulmate whoever um so yeah to find your ideal mates to find uh, to, to also to pray for people who may be you know lost on their paths or confused um to be to pray for people who are um, say drug addicts or something or just lost in life and if you want them to come on the right path to help them find themselves to help them find their path he also helps some um, pregnant women or women who uh, want to get pregnant, who want to conceive. He helps uh, women or people in troubled marriages. So he is the patron saint of destitute women. He's also the patron saint of um, destitute women in the sense, you know, whose husbands are alcoholic or abusive. So he helps them to get out of that. And I personally know of a case where he intervened quite miraculously and timely and i will be sharing that on my um, social media later so whatever your issue is you know whatever you want to find if you want to find peace of mind you want to find the right gym you want to find the right school for your kids you want to find the right yoga class it could be anything that you're searching for okay you pray to him and he loves uh, so saint anthony he loves baby jesus he loves uh, uh, white flowers uh, if you see his robes are brown he's he's very simple he doesn't really want anything from you he loves white flowers anything white basically he loves incense his candle is also white uh, another thing you can offer him of course we offer water we do not offer alcohol to him at all we do not offer anything naughty <laughs> Uh, to him, um, he once you start connecting with him, his signs will be his release, uh, feeling very happy in your heart, feeling joyful. The name Antonio or Tony or Anthony, um, so hearing that name, and also another thing he will help you with is uh, um, Saint Anthony, Tony, Antonio. Oh, flowers yeah another thing he wants you to do is to donate to poor people to donate to charities to donate to people in need now that could be anybody it could be of course charity always begins at home so when you go to donate like think of the people in your closest circle like among your amongst your family and friends that you can donate to and if there's nobody then extend to uh, extend your help to strangers so one thing he wants from you is uh, donations to people in need, donations to poor people. Uh, yes, another thing is he loves bread. So you can offer him a slice or two of bread and then feed that bread to people or animals. Okay, so if you're clear on that, now we will move on to the process. So I have written this down, which I will be posting in the description section. And this is how you do it. So you just need a picture of him or a statue if you have it, a candle, a white candle. You can inscribe his name on it, that is optional, and a glass of water. You start this process on a Tuesday. That is his day, any Tuesday, waning moon, waxing moon, does not matter. Uh, another thing you need to do is uh, you will write your wishes out in red pen because um, red means, you know, things happen fast and things manifest. Red is the color of the root chakra. <clears throat> Also, uh, and if you're against red, use any color, but do not use black. Um, another thing you need to do is you will write your list once and keep it. So if this, this is my list and I'll just fold it and I will keep it there. Uh, I will fold it and keep it here. Of course, I can keep a weight on it and like that's always better. You can keep a crystal on it. That's a great weight. 
I will only make this list once. I will pray over this every day. Another thing is at the end of 9 days or 13 days or 9 or 13 weeks, we will look into that. You will burn this paper and throw it out in the wind or let it flow in you know, or in the park. Okay, so you will release it. So, uh, yeah, now the process. So you will start on a Tuesday. You will continue for 9 days or 13 days. That is his um, Naveena. That's what it is like. And I also do feel Archangel Michael's presence here because I see the purple in the candle, in the candle frame. And, um, okay, going back. So, nine days. So, either you start on a Tuesday and do it for nine days or you start on Tuesday and do it for 13 days. Or you start on Tuesday and do every Tuesday for nine consecutive weeks or Tuesday for consecutive 13 weeks. Uh, another thing you need to keep in mind is that, of course, if you're a woman and if you have your menstrual cycle, that really does not matter at all. So I'm going to read out the prayer and I'm also going to put it in the description so you all can uh, write it down. Uh, and I found this process online, like I collated it from online, um, you know, reading articles online. However, I have written the prayer myself. So if you share it, please include my name in it. My name is Shambhi Patel. It's just not a right to share people's um, work without giving them credit. Anyway, so it goes like this. Dear, dear is God and Saint Anthony, miracle worker. I request your urgent intercession, your miraculous intercession in my case. I am writing the details below. Please grant my request now as soon as possible in a magical way under grace. In return, I promise to spread your name and glory and donate or do charity or feed people for dash amount. So you need to specify the amount as in you're going to do 100 rupees, 100 dollars, uh, 20 rupees, 20 dollars or 20 dirhams, whatever it is, okay? Whatever is comfortable to you, you want to do 5,000 rupees, 5,000 dollars, 5,000 dirhams, that's really up to you. Uh, when you grant my wish... Thank you, I love you, and I surrender. So show me the miracles. Amen. Then you write the details of your request. Okay, so you, if you want an ideal job or ideal mate or ideal house. Now, if you're going to write um, three different things, like you want ideal job and ideal mate and ideal house. So that would be three different lists. And then you would do the prayer uh, three times also. Three different times, okay? Then you write the details of your ideal job, like which company, how much salary, which area, which country, uh, which city, um, what work environment you want, things like that. Ideal mate would be obviously like what kind of person do you want, where do you want him to stay, what personality. Always mention that you get along with the in-laws, you get along with the mother. That is extremely important. Uh, an ideal house again would be which place, what kind of house. You want to mention that it is energetically correct, va vasu or feng shui compliant, and you know the how the energies of the house is in harmony with all the people living there. Uh, three bedrooms, four bedrooms, or if it is a bungalow, so what you want. Okay, mention details, and of course you can add to this list every day. You will end your letter with all this and something better, which means okay, I want I list my ten points. And then I say, okay, thank you God for this and something better. Another important thing to do is uh, be as descriptive as possible and be as positive as possible. Um, and really don't say that, okay, I'm asking for this because I think I can get this. Ask for what you really want. Uh, and then if you don't have a list, then you just say that I want the ideal uh, job or house or mate or whatever it is you're asking for that is divinely chosen and best for me now and forever. Thank you, Amen. So that is pretty much the process. And uh, yeah, and off and on, um, however you want to uh, do offerings to him. And if he gives you, you know, you go ahead and do it. Like if you into it, if you feel that St. Anthony is not uh, moving forward, you know, with your wish, if nothing is showing up, then start doing offerings and charity. Like it costs nothing. Uh, it'll cost you very little to just buy a packet of bread and give it to a poor person like you just buy it and you know in, uh, intended offer it to saint anthony mentally and say i'm giving this in your name 
to a beggar or you can just take 10 rupees and put it in any donation box of course this prayer can be done by people of all faiths and religions of all sexual orientations or he doesn't care if you're gay straight bisexual transgender he really doesn't care because he loves everyone equally and um, yes uh, go ahead and please do this and i would love to hear your stories and of course if you're like in an emergency or you know you cannot set up altars then if you just pray to him from your heart if you just write to him or you just say dear saint anthony and pour your heart out that will also work okay the only thing is that you you thank him you acknowledge his efforts and you uh, help needy people poor people in his name that is all you need to do and of course be grateful so i hope you enjoyed this video and that you will go out and um, you will go ahead and try this process um, i really enjoyed making it and uh, thank you so much for watching my name is jami patel and i will catch you soon